Biden. How old are you? I am 27. I'm located in Los Angeles, near the Beverly Hills area. I'm a Sagittarius, so it's my season. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what are you looking for in a man? I'm looking for a provider, for a communicator, somebody who's emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, no kids, don't smoke, mm. don't drink, because I don't do any of that. What do you mean by that? And that doesn't eat meat, because I don't eat meat. Yes, I'm yes. asking for a lot. Yes. <laughs> Not at all. What does he have to look like? Don't take this personal, y'all. Please don't. But um, I'm not really into black men anymore. What? And here we go. So I like Armenians, Caucasians, anything but our kind. No, I got the country. And is there a reason why you don't want to date black men anymore? I'm not doing struggle love. I feel like they still trying to figure out themselves. You know, generational trauma that just needs to be healed. And another one. I don't understand why women don't get it. The numbers keep rising and so does the delusion. These women in this dating market, they are not being realistic with the type of man that they want. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in. Today, 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 another delusional woman. Her delusion is off the charts, but before we get into it, let's roll that clip. How old are you? I'm 27. I'm located in Los Angeles, near the Beverly Hills area. I'm a Sagittarius, so it's my season. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what are you looking for in a man? I'm looking for a provider, for a communicator, somebody who's emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, no kids, don't smoke, mm -hmm. don't drink, because I don't do any of that, and that doesn't eat meat, because I don't eat meat. Yes, I'm yes. asking for a lot. Yes. <laughs> Not at all. What does he have to look like? Don't take this personal, y'all. Please don't. But um, I'm not really into black men anymore. And here we go. So I like Armenians, Caucasians, anything but our kind. No, I got the country. And is there a reason why you don't want to date black men anymore? I'm not doing struggle love. I feel like they still trying to figure out themselves. You know, generational trauma that just needs to be healed. I don't. I, I feel like I'm doing the healing process. A lot of black men that I'm running into have not started that process they don't even know what healing means right, but when i date outside of my race i meet people who like they already know how to provide they know we walk into somewhere they open the door for you open the you know car door stuff like that they just already kind of know but it's like with ours you got to kind of train them and i just don't want to train nobody does this man who is not black have to make a certain amount of money um yes of course i take very good care of myself so i want somebody that can also take very good care of themselves and me as well how much would that man have to make to date you i'm gonna seem so shallow and i don't want to seem shallow but i'm just being i'm just being honest like mm -hmm. at least over five hundred thousand. are you on drugs okay so five hundred thousand or more are you and yes. what and since we're on the five hundred thousand, because i think men who are making half a million dollars may feel like they can do what they want when they want right so what are your deal breakers if you're dating that man who makes five hundred thousand dollars mm, that's actually a good question i never really thought about that to be honest with you you're so dumb you are really dumb for real i want to remind everybody that 500k is not realistic and see, the reason why a lot of women are saying, don't settle, don't settle, get a man, get what you want, get what you want, get a man, don't settle. I want you to guess. Leave a comment and guess how many men in the United States alone make over 500K a year or 500K. Pause the video right now and i want you to guess 
All right. So I'm going to assume that you guessed and put a comment because the answer one to two percent. What did he say? One to two percent. And this is what men are saying. Modern women are chasing after one to two percent of men. Other modern women are telling women not to settle. So you have a bunch of women that are not a nine and a ten going after the same type of man. Everybody wants to make and get with a man that makes a hundred K or more. Stop it. Get some help. Men that make a hundred K or, or more, 17% of men in the United States make a hundred K or more. And as you go higher huh? in income, that number goes down. Oh! As you go higher in your income once, ladies, that percentage goes down. Oh! So I want you to look at this from a realistic standpoint, ladies. 2.3% of men make over or at 300K. Huh? So do you really think that you're going to get a man that makes that much money realistically. Nope. You're not. So you have a pipe dream that will never come to reality. And then you're teaching other women to have that same pipe dream. See, what's going on in the dating market with women is that you have a pipe dream and you want other women to have that same pipe dream. So somehow, some way, all the women in the world are going to get a man that made six figures or above. Do you know how silly that sounds? That sounds very silly. They're not being realistic. Do you really think that you're going to get a man that makes six figures and you're not making six figures. You don't even know where they hang out at. You don't even know where they travel to. You can't even afford to be in the same room with them. Got them. We fucking got them. <laughs> you don't run in the same circles. You don't live in the same neighborhood. You don't work at the same office that wealthy and rich men work at. So you, modern woman, you might as well just settle for a blue collar or a white collar worker. And women don't want to do that. They really don't. They would rather keep their unrealistic expectations, and then cry that the dating market is too hard. That is the state that women and dating are in today. They would rather keep their high standards, keep their unrealistic expectations, and then cry when nobody wants them. What can we do? The only thing, and see, this is the reason why passport bros exist. Because men, we're tired of it. We're tired of modern women. We're tired of the lack of submission. We're tired of it. And then women want to say, well, if a man is worthy of submission, we will submit. No, ladies, that's not how it works. A lot of you women don't know how to submit. Because you're too masculine to submit to a man. It's not that you can't, it's that you won't. You don't know how to. Because women that know how to submit end up getting married. Women that know how to submit don't get on YouTube and make fake videos to start conversations. 
women that know how to submit don't have unrealistic expectations of the men that they choose to date. They understand that they need a man, they want a man, and they understand that they have to undo that programming that they were raised to adopt. But women don't want to do that, at least not American women want to do that. Now, disclaimer, I completely understand that not all women are like this, but if you are the exception, bless you. Bless you if you are the exception. But the exception doesn't change the role. Just because you don't have unrealistic expectations doesn't mean the majority of women don't have unrealistic expectations. That's all we're saying. We're tired of the BS. Men just want harmony in relationships. That's all we want. We don't want to fight you. We don't want to bicker. We don't want to come home and fight. We don't want to come home and battle with our woman. We want to come home to a nice submissive honest woman and no submission does not mean slavery anyway y'all that's been it for today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe tickle that notification bell that will let you know when i upload content thank you for watching and until the next video peace